Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to examine ear. In our case, we are going to examine the left ear. After proper positioning and counseling of the patient, proper exposure is needed. Then examination starts with inspection of the preauricular area, pina, postauricular area, and subauricular area. Both sides should be inspected for any congenital lesion, signs of inflammation, scar mark, and swelling. Then we have to palpate for tenderness. We have to press the tragus. Simba Conca, the mastoid region, and we have to pull the pina and look for any pain sensation felt by the patient. Next, we have to inspect the external auditory canal. The external auditory canal is not straight, it is made straight by pulling it upwards backwards and laterally in case of adult. We have to examine the roof, floor, anterior and posterior wall of the external auditory canal and look for any pass, foreign body, wax, debris, polyp or growth. Then we have to examine the deep part of the external auditory canal and tympanic membrane. This can be done by oral speculum and otoscope. First we have to do it by oral speculum We can mop the external auditory canal if there is any secretion. After mopping, the cotton bud is looked for color of the secretion, thickness of the secretion, its amount and its smell. Then the oral speculum findings can be confirmed by otoscopic examination. In case of examination of left ear, the otoscope is held by left hand in a pain holding manner. Then with right hand, the ear is retracted upwards, backwards and laterally to make it straight. Next, we are going to perform the fistula test. First, we have to explain the patient what we are going to do. Then by pressing the tragus inward into the external auditory canal several times and occluding the external auditory canal with tragus, we have to look for any nystagmus felt by the patient or any vertiginous feeling. Then comes the tuning fork test, the Rene test, the Weber test, and absolute bone contraction test. For doing Rene test, after striking the tuning fork, it is held 2 cm from the external auditory canal opening. Then it is kept on the mastoid. And the patient is asked which sound is louder. For doing Weber test, after striking the tuning fork, it is kept over the forehead. The patient is asked to compare the hearing of both ear. For doing absolute bone conduction test, the vibrating tuning fork is kept over the mastoid bone occluding the external auditory canal. The patient is asked to signal when he does not hear the sound anymore. Then it is quickly brought onto the mastoid of the examiner while occluding the external auditory canal. 
Thus, bone conduction of patient is compared with bone conduction of the examiner. Next, we have to do the facial nerve examination. The temporal branch, the zygomatic branch, buccal branch, general mandibular branch, and the cervical branch of the facial nerve is examined. Posterior endoscopic examination and examination for neck lymphadenopathy can be combined with these examinations if the condition requires. In the end, the patient is greeted and thanked for his cooperation and if exposure has been done, then the clothing should be repositioned. That's all from examination of ear. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.